right, everybody, welcome back. We are now headed into lesson four, Remix Fund Me. And of course, all the code can be found on the GitHub repository associated with this course. We're gonna be working with two contracts here. One of them is fundme.sol, and then one of them is priceconverter.sol. Fundme.sol is gonna be a contract that allows people to actually fund a collective good. So people can send Ethereum, send Ethereum or Polygon or Avalanche or Phantom or whatever blockchain native token into this contract and some owner of the contract can then withdraw those funds and do whatever they want. After deploying this to a testnet, we can see the list of functions this contract has. This will have two red buttons, which are used to notate two payable functions in fund, in our fund function, and in our withdraw function. Withdraw allows users to withdraw the funding and fund allows users to send money to the contract. What we can do is we can send some value along with our transaction and we call this fund function. And then what we can do is we can actually fund this contract with a certain amount of ETH or way by pasting some value into the way value section and then hitting fund. We will now have sent money into our deployed contract and we can see a list of the funders and a mapping of those addresses and how much they've actually sent into the contract. We can then withdraw the funds out of the contract with a special exception with only the person who deployed this contract can actually withdraw the funds back out. Once the funds are withdrawn, the amount of all the funders is reset back to zero. Are you excited? Well, you should be. And if you finish this section, you'll have completed most of the basics of Solidity and you'll be ready to start making even more powerful smart contracts. We'll be using Chainlink price feeds to actually set the value of how much these people should be able to fund in USD as opposed to just in terms of Ether. We're gonna go over a lot of advanced sections here and I'll let you know what parts might be a little bit harder to digest so you don't have to spend your entire time trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Be sure to use the GitHub repo to your advantage here and the discussions tab to stay connected with other people taking this lesson. All right, let's jump in.